This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're in Liverpool here for the press conference to announce Mersey beat on March the 15th. Fighting on that bill, Rocky Fielding against Tony Dodson. All right, Rock, what's going on? Not much, Coog. How are you? Good. I'm all right. I feel like I haven't seen you in quite a long time. Yeah, see, uh, since the Frotch Gold was built, innit? In a few months, aren't it? No, actually, I saw you last in Germany for Barker and Sturm. Yeah. Well, you was off your nut. <laughs> I wasn't off me nut. I was all right. I was sober. I found you in that strip club, didn't I? Uh, I'm killed yeah. No, no, um, it was a good, it was a good trip. That met some um, <coughs> top lads, Barker's fans. You know, I had a good, had a good night with them in the Irish bar. It was, um, it was sad. It was good, good weekend. So Christmas, New Year's out of the way, recharged. Ready to go. You had a very good year last year, and uh, I know you got you got one goal this year. Well, one of your goals this year was to capture that British title, wasn't it? Yeah, that that yeah, that's that's there on me. That's on me mind. That's a, that's a title. Um, but I think now that you know I've had seventeen fights. You know, I've done the English title. I've done a couple of defence of the Commonwealth. I just feel now that I'm ready now to. Um, Start getting world rankings now and start fighting for like international titles and like an IBF title or something or just something that I can get a world ranking. You know the British is the British title is there. It's a lovely thing to win in that. But um, if I could go for like an international route and a world ranking now, I'd go for that first before I go down to the British because I've had seventeen fights now to say, and if I fight for the British, then win the British, that means I like, you know, I've got to stay around British level for like another three fights to defend it and I really want to move on now and uh, and start getting the world rankings, start getting the big fights and, you know, getting out there. So from the way you're talking now, it's not an absolute must that you go searching for that British title if there is a, like a, you know, one of the silver titles or an international titles, would you rather take that? Yeah, yeah, what would I like to, you know, I was looking at the rankings now, I'm bringing it, I'm fifth in the rankings, I think it's something, you know, Groves, De Gale, Froch, Paul's above, and then there's me, so it's, it's they're world champions, or four for world, and on the verge of fighting for world titles, so I want to be just in that kind of route, I want to be, you know, getting a world ranking, and getting another belt, and fighting for big fights against big names now, and, you know, like the international route and that, and as I say, it's I mean the British is is always there, but I like I'd like to go that route now and 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 win you know win a few titles that way and and then I can always come back down for the British. I can always go for the British any time really. But that's that's me that's me. You know, seventeen fights is let's let's push on now and move on. And start getting the the world rankings. The fire drill they were warned about. Um, Paul Smith fights uh, Tobias Webb. Um, for his last defence of the British title, uh, was there ever talk of you and Smith getting on for this for this show? No, no, not on, not on got mentioned. Um, not about the fight. No, it was just a text. Uh, I spoke to Eddie. And he put he put Tony Dodson. And uh, I spoke to Oliver. He'd saying about it. And yeah, not a sign. We go for it. You know, it's a good fight. Um, but no, not was mentioned. No, but. Yeah, people are talking about it, you know what I mean, as, as they have done for the last year. But, you know, Paul's got a defence and <coughs> it'd be nice to see him win it outright and keep the belt. You know, he's he's a Liverpool lad and it's nice to see them doing well. And <coughs> um, so, yeah, you know, there could be a fight down the line there with me and Paul. You know, you never know. He goes on and wins a bigger title and I'm, I'm coming up and it's a big, big fight there for a the bigger title than maybe. But, you know, as it stands... You know, let, let, let him win it, let him win it outright and keep it and then, you know, we can move on and do what he does and I can move on and do what I do. Um, there was talk of you fighting Tony Dodson before the fight's schedules happened for, for the 15th of March. Now, Tony Dodson's been around a while, was defeated by Paul Smith last year. Um, what kind of Tony Dodson are you expecting to face March 15th? Yeah, probably just the, the, the same, the same. Um, you know, I've Tony's a good fighter, and I've trained with him for the last. I did train with him, all of us for a couple of years. We've sparred and that, and um, 
each fight he's had, I think he's just be he's just been the same. You know, he's fit, he's there, he's dangerous. He can, you know, he he can come to fight in that. But you know, I think I think this is the the right time for me now to to get him and and do a job. Yeah, you know, it'd be tough for a few rounds and that. Yeah, <coughs> um, but you know, as you say, he's been around. He's been in some tough fights. He's been in some wars. He's you know, he's not getting any younger, he's you know, he's getting the getting older and moving up a weight and then coming down a weight and that. You know, we say he makes it comfortably and that and he might do, but it's how you perform in the fight. So him and Paul was a good fight for the first few rounds. He done well for the first few rounds, then Paul was taking over and stuck to his game plan and we've got a game plan that we'll be working on. And um, that should do the job. So I'm looking forward to Getting in there and, and, and fighting them in the derby, you know all the scouts. They all love to see, see two two scouts scrapping and, and fighting. So you've got the chance. Not just the scouts. We all love to see two scouts having yeah. a scrap. Yeah, you know everyone likes to see, you know, a, a local derby. You know, it's, it's in the Echo Arena, and you know I've done that. I've done two derbies before against Cardiff Oaks and Joe Wayne's go, and on this the third third time. Third time lucky enough for this start for this derby fight, but I'll be ready for it, and I'm, I'm excited and looking forward to it, and I can just show people, you know, again like how, how good I how good I am and I can be, you know what I mean? And you've seen the last few fights where just being first round and like oh they step up, they've been step ups. People have said they've been step ups. Then when I do take them out, then they say, oh no, he he should be stepping fighting someone else. So you can't win with people, but. This is this is a fight now. Um, is your phone ringing? No, oh, that is. It's a fight. This is a fight now where he's a good name. He's been a former British champion. He's just fought for a bit of title. He's been around Tony and this and that. And then you know will I get like you know beat him? And then will I get oh he's Tony's past. He's been in hard fights. You know what I mean? So I want to get past that now. I want to get into. Get this out the way, and then, as I say, the international and the big fights where no one can say nothing. You, just, you can just see for themselves when I'm in the ring and see how good I am, and I can do with these good names and these good fighters. And then that's when you can see. But you know, the fights I've had, they've been step ups. Eddie's put them in front of us, and we haven't said no to any of them. We've took them and, and we've done the job on them. So you know, things are looking good, and I like to kind of continue it on for this year. On paper, would you say that Dodson was represents the toughest opponent you could have faced in your fight so far? Yeah, you, you could do, but then yeah, um, when you go back to like like this is years back, the prize fighter when like Maxwell was in there, lost a couple of fights, he knocked seventeen people out and first ten the first three rounds, and I went there done a job on him there. You know, I've been in with I've been in with good lads. I think I looked at me there, I think five or six. I mean, whole career, they've lost more than they've won out of six. And you look at other people, other lot of people's had come up. They've lost lost more than they've won. You know what I mean? Man, have won more than they've lost apart from six. But yet, this is another big another big step up, as people say. And on paper, yeah, he's been there for best challenges, but four for one. So yeah, it, it, it's in for a good fight. Yeah, I'm I'm you know up and coming and. I've been around for three years now. I've each year won the private, won the English year, and I won the Commonwealth. So this is a new year now to to win another, get this out the way, and then win another title. And but it'd be a good fight. It'd be a good, be a good fight. You know, I want, I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy it, and you know, see the best come out of me because I know he, he's a tough, good fighter. Tony, he, he'll come at me and he'll and he'll try and you know, rough me up or things. But you no. Know, I do that in the gym all the time. Though. I sparred him when I, I sparred Tony when I never picked a weight up in my life and I'd only been professional for the year. And I told him I'd done well in the spars without being too big. I don't know what I mean. And now that I've fallen into a good super middleweight, I've done loads of weights. My strength's come on, my punching power's there, my speed's there, and my, my boxing's getting better in you know, each fight. So he's going to see a difference from the spar we had. So it'll be a good fight. And, I respect them and it's good to get in the ring with them because I've always watched them like Everton Park years ago when like going to the shows when I was a youngster and 
I was like, I just think I had my first amateur fight when he had his first professional fight. And I've been around the boxing game for years and then I watched him fight and that and, you know, he's a good fighter and then it's mad that I'm getting in the ring with him now to, to fight with him. So it's it's good. Everyone, the fans are all in for a, a good fight and a good, and a good night because it's a good bill. It is a great bill. And like I said, this year, 2014, you know, I, I would say I'd predict you to really announce yourself on the super middleweight scenes. You know, there's people you know that are in front of you that are on the world stage, if you like, or nearly on the world stage. So it'd be good to, like I said, for you to get your, your wins this year and really put yourself on that map, on, on that ladder of that division. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Because, you know, I think it was like three years in, into like Groves and the girls' careers that like the, the family started, you know, maybe a bit longer, but the family getting them, them here and, you know, world title shots and world rankings. That, that's that's my main thing, is just getting these world rankings now. So, my name's in there in the mix with the world and get myself manzy positions and that for, for these titles. So, that's it, as I say. You know, being around the British, not level, I mean, being around British fighters, like, at your fourth, and now I'd like to fight, like, these foreign internationals who's got a different kind of style that'll that'll um, you know that'll tough that'll come and give me a fight that'll bring the best of me out of me you know what I mean but it's got to be worth shutting at the end of it like a good a good a good title to win so it's just yeah like you say it's been a good year and, and I know you know I've sit down with Oliver all the time with Jim and he, he knows he's been around the game he knows and he he's telling me believe in yourself I believe I believe in you that we can get there you know what I mean it's just me that I've got to believe in I think now this year that it'll start, it'll finally start to to pay off, and yeah, um, uh, I'm looking forward to. All right. Well, I think they're going to probably start this press conference soon. So, um, Rocky, thanks for talking to IFL TV. We we'll look forward to the fu- the fight. It's a great card next month, 15th of March at the Echo Arena, Mersey Beat, and uh, wish you the best of luck with that fight. And same with Tony Dodson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. It's always it's always a pleasure to speak to you. I film TV. I film is it? Still fuck the name up, didn't you? It's always good, you know, you always give You just call us what you want, Rocky. I'm not even going to correct you. you just call time, us what so. you want. Yo, yeah, my mate. Right. But uh, yeah, thanks. You always, you always give me the, the time, the interviews, and, you know, you, you, you're big now on that. Everyone's always. Very big, yeah. Everyone's on to you now, and, and you know, all my mates and all people, I, all lads that I know, like, you know, it's that Coogan, that Coogan's interviews, Coogan's sick, you know what I mean? So you're getting a boat while you're getting a boat, so you've got a yeah, yeah, right. reputation up here and you'd be safe if you come up on nights out, you do or like that, you'd be safe because everyone, everyone notices you with these interviews, you keep everyone up to date, so it's, um, it's good stuff. I mean, it's good to know I'll be safe if I come back to Liverpool. I've been here about a hundred times, I've been safe then, but it's good to know that if I come again, I'll be safe. Yeah, yeah, you will be safe, you get looked after. All right, Rock, thanks for talking to IFL TV. I reckon they've started this press conference. I don't know. Uh, Coogan Cassius, Rocky Fielding, IFL TV. Thank you very much.